All right. Hi, everyone. Peter here. Another day in paradise. So I opened my book up to the next empty pages and went into my work. For this drawing, you'll notice that I used a pencil to do some preliminary sketching at some stages, quite a bit more than I usually do in most of my drawings. I'm not quite sure uh, why that is. I guess it's just the nature of the drawing. In the second half, you'll see that I was just kind of doing a lot of involved interlocking and overlapping things that I really just wanted to make sure I had all figured out first so that I would, uh, I would just be much less likely to make any awful mistakes and get inordinately angry at myself for a few minutes. So before I started this, uh, I had been daydreaming for a day or two about this drawing. In my head, I had all these different images flipping and sliding around in my head, like all these different options and ways it could be. I saw all sorts of different towers and steeples and minarets, encompassed by all manner of patterns and mandalas and ornamental designs, just flowing and spinning around in dizzying beauty. Uh, and then I would realize I'd been standing in the shower for far too long. And really... Really, even though I'm happy with how this drawing turned out, I'll always know that it's not even close to as amazing as many of the dreamy iterations that flashed mishmash through my brain in the hours and days preceding. But it's okay when that happens, when you don't deliver something quite as incredible as you'd imagined. I guess you just kind of have to make a patient truce with yourself. Tell your imagination to keep doing its thing, to keep dreaming up those fantastical and outlandish ideas that get you a little more excited than people probably think you should be if they knew. You know what I mean. Dream big. Like that one scene in Inception where one dude was in a gunfight with an assault rifle and then another guy walks up and says something like, You mustn't be afraid to dream a little bigger, darling. And then pulls out a grenade launcher? Like, are you kidding me? You could dream up whatever you wanted. And after telling this guy to dream big, you dream up a grenade launcher? Give me a break. Anyway, anyways, what I was saying is, it's perfectly fine for your imagination to keep writing checks that you can't cash artistically. At least all the way. Uh, if that makes any sense. I don't think I used that idiom right. Or right if it even is an idiom. But I keep telling myself, the most important thing is that I keep drawing. As I keep drawing, my ability to draw will slowly but surely continue to improve, and it's exciting because then, in tandem with that, my ability to do my imagination the justice it so rightly deserves will improve as well. You know, who knows if I'll ever actually get there, you know, to where I can draw everything I can imagine. I kind of hope not, because because I kind of like the idea of my, imagine, my imagination being the carrot tied to the string at the end of a stick, and that stick tied to the head of the horse that is my artistic ability. The horse keeps chasing the carrot, it keeps moving, it keeps going places, even if aimlessly, and it stays in shape. But if that horse ever gets the carrot somehow, if my artistic ability ever catches up with my imagination, then will I plateau? Will the horse just stand there or just slowly mull about, not really going anywhere? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know anything. Anyways, this drawing was lots of fun. It took me almost six hours, I think, all in one day, uh, but not in one sitting or anything. A lot of that time was spent carefully measuring and sketching things out in pencil, uh, which I would then ink in with the Pigma Microns once I had everything where I wanted it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Most of my art is uploaded on my Facebook page. Uh, if you want to flip through it, links are in the description. Thanks.